today our topic will be linear mapping uh, continuing from that uh, last video as we discussed in our last video uh, the complex function and uh, mainly we focused on magnification translation and uh, rotation and this uh, linear ma mapping is actually the composition of those three uh, basic components and uh, it is written as very similar to the real uh, linear function that is fx is equal to x plus b this is also same uh, linear mapping it is defined as it is defined as fz is equal to az plus b and you can see that we have this small a and small b here so both are complex numbers right where a is not equal to z right and a and b are complex numbers this is called linear mapping and what does it do it maps the point z not to f z not right the image of z not will be f of z not but uh, we have three basic uh, uh, components inside this linear mapping and those are the first is uh, rotation and then we have magnification then translation means when you input this point z not uh, first this this point z not is rotated through the argument of this a because a is a complex number right then whatever is the argument of this complex number uh, that amounts the rotation for this point z not right and after rotation of z not let the image will be z not dash right and uh, then that z not dash image will be magnified by the amount modulus of a right to obtain z not double dash right and that that image z not double dash is a translated through the vector b that will be our f of z not so basically it involves three operations inside it first is a rotation then magnification due to this a complex number and then translation due to this complex number b right so i'm writing those three components one by one in the sequence they are uh, um, operated on this z not point right Maps the point Z not. It maps the point Z not to Z not by first is rotating the point Z not through the angle which is equal to argument of this complex number, right? Input point Z not is uh, first rotated uh, through this angle. Argument of A, A is a complex number. Uh, then, then the result obtained from uh, first step is magnified by amount modulus of A. And after that, the third step, translating the result by vector b. Right. So it involves three operations. This is like it. First is the rotation of the input point z not, right? And then immediately after that. The result is magnified by this amount modulus of a as we discussed in the magnification uh, mapping and then finally and the result of this step number two gets translated by this vector b right it is called linear mapping and you can see that uh, if uh, you take a is equal to zero right i have taken a is not equal to zero take a is equal to zero then this will reduce to constant mapping as z is equal to b means every point will be mapped to a point right b point that in that case it will be a constant mapping and of course constant mapping involves rotation no rotation right you can say no rotation or you can say no magnification right and no translation or translation by vector b whatever will be the domain and that will be uh, mapped to a single point b and certainly there will be you can call it some rotation or um, shrinking because a is zero in that case right if a is equal to zero then obviously the whole domain will be shrinked to a point 
right? That will be a special case of this linear mapping, but I'm uh, going to define it with a, a is not equal to zero in order to see some difference, right? Okay. Now, uh, it can also be written as I said earlier that it is just a composition of three individual mappings and we can write it as also moreover you can write this fz equal to az plus b as uh, mod a and then a z over mod a plus b you can write this mapping is in this way and you can see that uh, if you input your point z naught here then z naught will be present and following the rule of board mass means the first multiplication will occur and then addition first you have to multiply this a with this z naught right means that uh, the first operation that is applied on this z naught will be uh, the rotation operation you can see from here and why i'm saying rotation because see that uh, if you find the modulus of this thing right it will be mod a upon mod a that will be equal to one means no magnification right due to this factor a over mod a with this z your input is z naught right say and this this produces only the rotation right not magnification because the modulus of this number is equal to one right so first this z naught will be rotated by the angle equal to the argument of a as i have written in my first step right and after that there will be a magnification i should i write it in this way sorry mod a should be here like this plus b sorry okay and then after that immediately the output of this bracket right will be applied to this mod of a will be multiplied over by this modulus of a and modulus of a is just the magnification right means after rotation immediately comes the magnification right i'm following the board mass rule right and after getting this result whatever is this number then i will add b vector and that uh, amounts to translation by the vector b right so these three, three steps are incorporated if you see this uh, writing this fz in this way right okay so i will put a star on it right and this is the explanation the star is the explanation for all these three means the right and uh, yes also i should write it as fz equal to uh, first uh, we apply rotation right means r then we applied magnification m and finally we applied translation so this is equal to t o m o r o stands for composition of two functions t is translation m is magnification rotation uh, when you input your point z equal to z naught the first operation that comes into uh, play is rotation as you can see from the first point then comes the magnification and then comes the translation so this uh, order should be maintained it is t o m o r right okay and let me take uh, an example to uh, see how it works a linear mapping right <clears throat> example find the image of triangle with what is this is z equal to 0 1 and eta right under the mapping linear mapping fz equal to 2 times of z or should i write it as uh, 2 eta times of z plus eta right i have taken this small a as a complex number two eta and this b is the eta right solution fine so i will draw, draw the domain first because as we uh, know that uh, the graph of a complex function is not easy and it is hard to visualize it because we need four dimensions and uh, due to the restriction of only three dimensional space we have or we are able to see in three dimensional space only so drawing four dimensional space will be tough so i will be drawing two copies of complex plane a first copy for domain plane and the second copy for image plane right uh, z plane and w plane you call it z and w plane so drawing the first to my uh, 
z plane first right this is y axis x axis and this is my z plane for domain plane right and you can see that z is equal to 0 z equal to 0 let me call it point a and then z equal to 1 let me call it point b and then z equal to eta this is point c this is a right angle triangle and this is a domain s right and under this mapping we'll find its image right and let me apply this uh, mapping here f and the input is given the first corner of the triangle that is z is equal to 0 that will produce f0 will be equal to eta then the second corner of triangle f1 and that will produce 3 eta and the third vertex that is eta will produce minus 2 plus eta minus 2 plus eta right and under this mapping the image will be uh, drawing the w plane v axis and this is my u axis right this is w plane w plane fine and uh, you can see that the image of zero is eta so drawing on the same scale we have eta at this point i think this point this figure should be on the more on the right hand side v and this is u fine yeah eta eta is here on the same scale eta is present here right eta. and this is my point a dash fine a dash w equal to eta and then three eta i think it should be here three eta b dash w equal to three eta and the third point is minus two plus eta and that should be here one two and here minus two plus eta here c dash w equal to minus two plus eta and then joining them this is the required image s dash right and you can see that our triangle uh, was rotated if you see this line you this line a b see this line a b right and here you can see this a dash b dash means the whole line has been rotated to the 90 degree angle right you can see that this was a horizontal edge placed on x axis right and now you can see that a dash b dash is standing on u axis right means every edge of this triangle uh, is get rotated by gets rotated by through the angle of 90 degree right you can see that and uh, you can see the magnification if you see the side of this this is one unit right and you can see that this is two units right this is also two units so the magnification is by the factor of this modulus of this number um, if you do the modulus of a that is mod of 2 i that will be 2 means uh, the triangle uh, the area of the triangle is doubled or every size this, the size of each edge gets twice right and uh, if you see the translation the whole triangle is translated by the amount by the vector eta right you can see this eta right so it has all the three components the first is magnification rotation and then translation right so this is what uh, linear mapping can do with the domain uh, so this is it linear mapping and one more thing that uh, this order should be maintained t m o r and i will show a small uh, example for this that why it is important t o m o r first rotation then magnification then translation uh, if uh, f z equal to let me take a small example um, z plus eta or 2z plus eta right then you can see that f of 0 equal to 
eta it is getting same that if you put z equal to 0 will get f0 equal to eta right and uh, yeah if i use this uh, linear mapping and change the order of this this like if i apply if we apply magnification first or i should say translation first fz equal to translation first t here zero and then we have magnification no rotation obviously right if i use it in reverse order however it is t o m first magnification then translation i am not talking about the rotation because this time i, I have this a real number so rotation is not possible only magnification by the factor of 2 right so i have skipped this r so that should be t o m z but i have taken m o t z and z is this i will input this z 0 equal to it then f 0 equal to m o this is 0 and this is o composition t 0 right and what should be t 0 if you uh, see that t means translation translating zero by this this mapping and that will give me eta if you translate zero by this amount eta amount right you will get eta this this will give you m o t eta or you can write it as m t eta right fine sorry m eta m of eta and what will be m eta m means magnification of eta magnification of eta by this amount how much how much amount modulus of this a means twice right and that will give to 2 eta and which is obviously not the correct result as you can see that putting z equal to 0 is giving eta but if i apply this composition in a wrong way or in change the manner first m and then t then i am getting the wrong result right i have applied uh, translation translation first translation means by this vector and this vector is eta translated zero by this amount right if you translate zero by eta amount it will reach eta and then you're going to magnify it right by how much by twice so eta twice of eta is two eta and this is not obviously equal to the correct answer that is eta right that's why the order of this uh, composition is very important right so this is it for linear mapping uh, in next video we will be talking about the uh, limits continuity and differentiability of a complex function because those are obviously the important part of a function and that will be part of our next video for this video thanks